Let me turn on my recording, a stream and a recording of Monster Super League today. Um, I do want to share my Twitch with people so people can watch it. Let me, give me just one second. I'm going to grab a different computer so I can grab my Twitch and share it with peeps. This is a different computer, so give me just a moment to get it up and going so I can get people to go watch it. My channel is here. Like that, and we get to my Discord. Twitch. All right, so share it on my Discord channel so peeps can watch. Um, I'm just going to do Void Dungeons. I'm actually going to try my Dark Team against the more difficult uh, sections level 6. I've not actually done it yet, but we're going to give it a try. This could be a folly. It could work. We're going to find out. Um, so my teams are, and I'll explain the rationales behind them. I've got uh, a Light Persephone, Super Evolved, Ascended, all that fun stuff. She's got SP boost for the team, which is important. Shock, which is also important. Light Mandragora, fantastic unit for this. Taunts off the minion on the left and or adds saps. Uh, dark Yuki, a Dark Summer uh, Siren, uh, very useful. Uh, kick points, Courageous Striker with an immunity. So she's my only healer on the first team. Um, second team, uh, Dark, what was his name? Because I don't remember. Dark Imperio. Um, he's got self heal, self, uh, uh, well, actually party heal, party SP boost 10%. And then he does good damage on his crits. Uh, he's really there for the off heals. Uh, the damage that she's going to be throwing is going to be marginal. Um, I've got Water Yuki. She is a Water Sapper, uh, both on her sec primary and secondary skill saps, as well as my uh, Dark Hanna to get uh, SP rebuilding and healing. She's my primary healer on this team. Dark Yuki to make sure that the other team does never, ever, ever gets off uh, or at least to try to never get off the immunity. It makes it really tough to get immunity off because the goal is to beat this with saps. Final team, Light Hanna, Light Mandragora, uh, another Light Persephone, and another Dark Yuki. So two of these units are sappers. One's, both of them are control sappers, either taking the SP away from the unit that can throw the immunity or uh, actually taunting it. So I've actually, the leader here is resist down, so this helps land the, the um, uh, landing my resist attacks on it. Um, the second team, actually, the leader is an enemy attack down. That is, I think, going to be helpful. I am curious, let me look at, I might want to change my first team's leader. Crit rate up, crit rate does not matter for this setup at all against this well not really because i'm going to try to be relying on saps so i might want to swap out the light persephone lead for one of my other unit leads on that first team now that i'm really looking at it she, her lead is also an attack power break that actually i think will be far more useful for the lead so let's see if i can do this can I hold it long enough and then switch it? No. All right, well, let's swap it this way. So switch you out, put the Light Persephone on the back end. Actually, just for my ease of use, I'm gonna put my Yuki's in the last position because it's gonna make it easier for me to have them in the final spot and I'll show you why once I get to it. So you and then the dark Yuki, which I've got to find. There she is. Okay. The, the reason I want the dark Yuki's on the end slot is they 
have to be the final holdout in case I need to control and prevent the immunity. So it's easier to tap them in sequence, one, two, three, one, two, three, blah, 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 and go across. Now I am noticing that my water Yuki that I've got here, I am gonna, before I start this, I'm gonna go give her a little bit more um, enhancements. It's because this is epic level fights. And I think I need to do just a couple more quests while I'm here. I think I can feed and upgrade yet, and that'll finish the dailies as well. So let's do that real quick. Uh, we're going to get rid of the three stars because we don't need them, and we need their essences. So thank you for their essences. Um, I'm just going to do a quick, com uh, not so quick. I'm going to grab wherever there is the bat. Just real quick do that because it doesn't matter who I give the food to, I just need to feed somebody something that's free, because I'm like that. And then we're gonna get rid of junk gems that are in inventory, which are all of those, sell them off. And then we will run this gem up to a plus nine. Okay, and now we wanna go look at that water Yuki I probably could do it by recent. It's probably one of my oldest units. Uh, I'm gonna find it that way. Oh, maybe she's not one of my oldest units. All right, you know what? We're just gonna do it this way. And for some reason, I am not seeing her. She must be hiding. Oh, she's an ultimate water Yuki. That would be why she was hiding. There she is. Okay, so I was right. She was not actually really set up great yet. So let's just go ahead. Oop. I want to run that to plus 15, not plus 5. But easy fix there. You, you too can watch me spend millions of gold this morning. All right, so that was a million. Throw that on. Let's look at this last one. Also could be better. Upgrade. Let's see if I can do this for less than a million. Yes. Not by much less than a million, but it was less than a million. I'll go ahead and equip that. Alright, and this last, I'm assuming that gems are resisted is. So she's running 81% resistance which there's, no really, there's really no reason to go more than that. Um, attack gem really doesn't matter for this fight on her. Let me manage items real quick. Crystals, I don't wanna look at tank only. Crap. I've got seven. Ooh, that's actually really nice. So I'm just going to do a couple of rolls just to see what I get. Recovery, a crit rate. Again, on this unit, crit rate is useless. So we'll just re-roll that. Okay. That I will keep. That is three bonuses on an easy roll. That actually is really damn nice. So we'll go ahead and just upgrade that right now. Again, not really the gem for this Yuki, but that's okay. Let's go look at our light Persephone. So she actually <laughs> has, what type is she anyway? She was a defender. I have not gotten many defender gems, as you can see by my lack of defender gems. Um, let me actually search by defenders. Yeah, I've only got two. All the gem types I've been getting, very few defender gem drops. But I could re-roll. So I would need a first and a middle. That actually might be worth doing.
Active skill damage increased 10%. Oh, that's that's pretty damn cool. I didn't even know that that was a potential bonus. Um, wow, that would go... Hold on. <laughs> there, there are many units that that would be really cool on. Uh, in particular, my Dark Persephone. Active skill damage plus 10%. Uh, hell yeah. Let's go ahead and upgrade that all the way to the plus 5. And we will equip it because, damn. So now she does even <laughs> more damage there. Um, I don't currently have her with an extra front, but she's not being used for any of these. Well, actually, is that an attack? That is an attack. Uh, all right. So I need, effectively, I need two defenders, and I need one attack crystal. So we're going to go to manage items. Left arrow. There's a left arrow. And we'll go ahead and transform this. I need this to become an attack type. Or a defender type, honestly. So we're going to spend some gems and hope that I can land an attack or defender type. Not a recovery type. Okay, there's the attack type. So we got that for 100. That will go on her in a moment. We're going to upgrade it. Uh, just because she does mass damages. We're going to go ahead into manage. I, and I'm sorry, I'm, I'm doing it this way, but uh, I will get to the void dungeons in a moment. Or two, or three, or maybe four. Um... Show me the attack types. The left. We're going to craft. We're going to roll. We want to get some substats. <laughs> what a crap set of substats on that gem. Two recoveries. And a recovery and hit points. Nope. Try again. Okay. Crap. They really do like recoveries on this gem. Defense flat. Crit rate up. Crit resist up. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. That'll work. Okay, so that, I'm just going to look at this beforehand. My crit rate was 94%. This is going to bounce me over 100%. Um, my attack rate was 5897. Uh, not changing that. My crit resist 7.0. We're just going to equip it. So my attack rate's going to be, oh, my crit's going to be over 100% now with that, which is amazing. And I have even more if I went from 58. Just equipping it took me over 6700. That, wow, I think I just literally went up almost a 1,000 on the attack on that with now 100% crit rate, which is amazing. Okay, so that's really cool. Um, but I still still need Defender Gem because that was not necessarily my goal for that one. Because <laughs> I want the Light Persephone to have a set. So I need a Defender Gem uh, left and a Defender Gem middle. So let's try to get those. So we need to pick a middle. And we'll transform this. So we want defender. So I need a shield, I think is what defender is. Nope. Yep, all right, got it on two tries. So that's useful. I've rolled so many on other ones and failed horribly. All right. Um, We'll go ahead and run the upgrade on this. We're going to give it a roll to see if I can get a substats, manage items, crystals, defender, any, just that one really. Uh, crafts, I've got one, one piece at the moment. Defense, having extra defense on her is okay. Alright, so she's going to get Defender gem, and we'll just we're just going to slot this one in at the moment. I'm 
putting this in just so that we get the set bonus. All right, and I need a left side gem. So we've got to switch one of these gems to a left, left arrow, left arrow, left arrow, left arrow, left arrow, left arrows, single left arrow. That one's really good. I don't remember if I roll it, if it kills my subsets. Okay, sub properties remain the same. So I need a defender. Oh, I got it on the first try. Thank you, Tina. Resist an extra 8.3%. We'll just go ahead and equip that. My resist is now 72%. That's actually really good on her. My defense is 14,000. <laughs> That's really funny. I'm going to get some water. Be right back. All right, so she is feeling much, much improved. Um, but this still takes me to looking at water types and going back to my Yuki, who I was bringing as my sapper for this. Um, Miho's, I mean, Miho's a, a potential to 100% chance to flip the enemy with sap for two turns or 80% chance for two turns. 100% is only a single sap for the two turns versus the four star Yuki, who is 80% with two types of sap damage for two turns. Um, let me just go look at Dark Vampire for a second. Dark Variants. The reason I say Dark Vampire is because he also is a sapper. There he is. And he's a double double spot sapper. 100% for three turns with 70% uh, chance of two types of sap for two turns. Okay, he's actually a better sapper than my Water Yuki, so I might actually switch to him. He still has good defense, good hit points. His resist is problematic, though. Um, as in its non-existence. Um, he also is one that is a defender, so I have no gems that can slot on him at the moment. But let me upgrade this. This will give him a little bit more resist right there. So it went up by 4%. And then go over here. Already ma uh, max, but at a lower piece. Upgrade consecutive so notice I have spent a chunk of money he just sucked up some more Let's upgrade that again okay equip and then here another Oop, nope don't do that first do the upgrades first because then it's easier not having to reselect it on the unit uh, okay, so you, you guys have got... I actually started this weekend with 60 million gold. I'm down to 33, maybe. Okay, and then equip it. So he's got 33% resist, which is not really all that fantastic. Um, crit rate, crit damage for him does not matter. So let's see what the other gems were. Hit point gem, defense gem... Let me see if I have another protection set gem. I'm sure I've got some that are resistance gems. Um, I just want to see if I have one that's got a substat resistance on it that's higher than six. Crit rate does not matter. There's a 15% attack. Attack rate does not matter for this guy. His, his damage is all going to be based off the saps. 9%. That was a 14% resist, more hit points. 
a 22% resist. Again, um, attack isn't going to matter. He's not going to do enough damage. Crit damage on him is not going to matter. He's not going to do enough damage. So what we're solely looking for really are higher the higher resistance rate. Do I actually have another resistance gem? I said I was sure I did. I think, you know, there's one there. Um, resist with hit points. And with defense. You know what, we'll, we'll run this one up and see where it ends up. Well, went to crit damage. Not where I needed it for him, but... Alright, so, again, attack rate doesn't matter for him. That flat hit points is pretty useless. Um... I did run that resist gem up. It does give him some defense, so I don't lose all out on defense. It does increase his crit rate. Maybe he could land a crit. He's not designed to do so. Um, he's still respectable at this point. He does now have max resistance, though, which is important, because having him get sealed is bad news. Um, he's also already got an enhancement running. So he's not... He's not that bad of a unit at this point. I'm going to switch out the Water Yuki for the Dark Vampire. Um, the base Void monster I'm going to be fighting is Dark. So I think that actually could work. Uh, let me grab my free energy from here. Nope, that's not where I wanted to go. I've already purchase just about everything here I want to purchase until next week. we got six more days, so I'll get another day's worth out of this, or a weekend's worth. I think I've gotten... Oh, alright. Well, now I've gotten that, too. So, tomorrow, I'll be able to buy gleams again without an issue. Alright, let's go try this without further ado. I've done preps. Let's see if the preps are going to pay off. So we're going to come over to the Void Dungeon. We're going to go down to number six. We're going to switch out the Water Hannah for uh, Dark Variant Evo 3, the Dark Vamp. And we just got to find him on this thing. There he is. All right, let's see how this goes. I'm not adding any bonuses to this. This is flat out, if I'm successful, I'm successful. And if I'm not, I'm not. I'll find out very quickly if this is going to be successful or not. Turn that auto off. Do not want the auto running. Um, the way these... Oh, it didn't keep my... Oh, crap. It didn't save the other repositionings I'd done. So... I don't have the right bonuses running in the front side, so if I, well, whatever. Um, this is not how I plan to start. It didn't save what I was working on setting up previously, which is unfortunate. Okay, the taunt has been successfully landed. We will go ahead and still steal, or steal, the SP from him. What does this say now on here? Greatly decreases the amount of damage taken from sap. Well, I still think sap is the only way that this fight is going to be a success. Landed some there. Um, switch you over. Throw the heal. See if I can land the control again. Yes. SP boost. This supposed me to get my dark Yuki to get her halt off again. Little buff break just landed on me. And that hurts. But I can throw my immunity and heal. And 
Yes, he did not say he's got the damage amp running, so I don't believe he does. Let's go ahead and throw you. We will take that attack, steal your SP. You don't need it. You want it? Give it to me. Still nothing about him having damage amplification running on him. All right, let me see if I can control him again. Yes. Uh, I need to be able to get this heal off. I wonder if they, on this turn six, they remove the damage resistance thingy on him. There's an invincibility for one turn on turn five and you're being flipped to a shock. Okay, so that hasn't happened yet. Um, I really do need to land more SP if my healer is getting hammered. And she survived his attack. She survived it, but I lost my taunter. So that's going to be an unfortunate state of affairs for me. Um, well, let's go ahead and drop this. I got rid of the booze, so he died. But I don't know if he resurrects his buddies or not. Some of the others do, like almost immediately resurrects their buddies. I don't know if this guy does or not. Damage, even with there's the weakness amplification. Both resisted. Okay, so yeah, I definitely am not going to win this round. Um, and it could very well be because I did not get that Saren tossed over to the spot. I've got no healing ability left now, unfortunately. SP peel does not work. All right, so we're gonna give up. We're gonna flip this around the way I intended to try, like I was showing previously. So pull you out. Six light and dark. And I need the dark Saren to go back in. Followed by you. Uh, actually, like I said, I wanted to flip that around anyway, so we'll go back and get Yuki. So I can remember where she is. She's probably, yeah, she's not super ascended. Okay. So, enemy attack down is important. Enemy attack down, enemy resistance down on that third team. So, Having the attack down will actually make it more likely I can survive, I think. He's losing 38% of his attack. Alright, just camera on this guy to start with. I landed the first turn sap. I wonder if I can hit this guy with the taunt also. Yes, I can. In which case, he also can't use his ults and has to do nothing but attack my guy. Alright, so again, need this guy to be taunted. Can feel sappy. Uh, should have done that last, but I'm sorry. I'm just gonna throw the shock right now. Oh, actually, that was that was 
useful in its own, in its own way. I got silence. So that's okay, though. Um, hmm. I do need to throw saps, so we gotta get these saps. We gotta get the saps rolling, folks. The saps must flow, just like the spice must flow. But in this case, it's the saps that must flow. You with hit point hits for Courageous Striker. Um, I can steal SP. He can't act. He can. We're going to prevent you from being able to throw your attack up and defense up again. Okay. Immunity plus heal. Winning combination. Taunt over here. Success. Hmm. Well, again, I've, what matters more at the moment are the saps, so I'm, and also being able to throw the heals later. So I'm going to work on getting the saps thrown. survive one round without the heal running. Um, I cannot allow him to get his ult off. So, no immunities. Immunities are no bueno for me if I want to survive. Um, he's immune to me taking his energy away. I'm hoping I survive this hit because I forgot to heal. Okay, survive the hit. Important safety tip: don't die. Throw the saps. Throw the saps. Throw the SP hit. Oh, SP boost. Oh, so but whatever. All right, I've actually killed off. I think both minions at this point because the saps should polish them off. The question is, does he reconstitute his minions? The other units do. I don't know if he does or not. Okay. He's probably going to kill me because this... It's not Perseverance, so every three turns. Well, maybe he'll kill me. We'll find out. Uh, again, I need, I need energy badly. Heal. Uh, not seen him say yet. <laughs> He's got his, his vulnerability. I'm not sure what's going on and why I'm not seeing it, but I need to keep getting my healing battery filled. Let's see if I can survive this. Yep, I did because I had my damage shield running. Buff incoming. Oh, did not. Okay, there's the weakness amp. And I landed. Nope. I don't know if she survives without using her. Well, alright. Guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> weakness amplification ignored the shocks, ignored the saps, and then is going to just destroy my poor girl. Oof. It wouldn't have mattered. Yep, 
You are down. You are down. All right, so the short is this team is not going to be able to take this guy out. I got him to under a third of his health, um, but that's obviously not good enough to be successful. So we'll give up on this round, and I'll go back and I'll, I think I should be able to run the level fives on this map. Um, on auto, honestly. I might select the left side unit just so it targets it, but the rest of the fight should run by itself. Battle. I wonder if I may have successfully done that with the... Come out. I, I'm debating whether I could have done it if I purchased a bonus, but attack up doesn't do me any good. I don't know. He does not repopulate his minions, though. So once his minions are gone, the fight's basically done. Now, the problem is, he's going to get his immunity because my guys did not bother debuffing him to get rid of them. Will my healer throw her heal? Yes. That's good. Did throw the weakness aura, though. And I... <laughs> I <laughs> Persephone broke his his immunity with her break immunities. So that yeah, auto after selecting just the left side worked just fine. Okay, so I got the left side selected again. This team's a bit different than it was before. So I got the dark vamp, so the dark vamp I think will basically help chew through that guy even faster since he's just throwing three saps a turn. Unless he resists, and he resisted at least that one. Alright, so this is what makes this one a bit trickier, because if they don't do their timing right, they're not going to land the, uh, the kill on the guy on the left with saps. And the kill on the guy on the left with saps is really important for this to be able to be successful. because it wastes the saps when they don't do it right. You know what, I'm gonna just disable that for right now because until you break that guy on the left. I did it this way so I can literally go from left to right clicking on them and make it really simple to kill the guy on the left out. Alright, the guy on the left is effectively dead at this point. I just need one more sap to land on him and then the immunity is out. Oh, no, I needed two more saps to land on him apparently. Actually, that's a really good run.
All right, so with a bit of trickery, <laughs> it works out just fine. Um, <clears throat> So they can be taunted. Let me, I like having that option for uh, the light mandragora on the second team, but I think the second team, let me see. Let me look up who my taunters. I need taunters that have at least a two turn taunt, whether it's fearless or uh, regular taunt. So debuff, is it considered a debuff? No. Status effects. No. I actually really like that they finally put this in here, by the way. Fearless taunts, barbed taunts, and taunts. Okay, so that normal taunts Okay. The reduced damage from fearless taunts is better. And you want it on the primary. And I want at least two turns. Petrification. I don't know, petrification. Maybe the mid side minions can be petrified. I'm not sure. I apparently do have a light zoo badge. She's a sole target attacker though. So it's a fearless taunt for two turns. She might not be a bad choice, but I lose out on a lot of, I don't have the saps if I use her, but she's a lot more powerful of a unit um, but she is a light unit. It would be defense, though, and they do defense damage. It might be worth working on upping her. Um, and I've got... She's evil one. I didn't realize... So I might pull her out just to upgrade her and then be able to work on her later. That actually is not a bad skill for shutting down their abilities. And I do like my Tanya. My little matchstick girl. So I had her previously on a heal set. It might be worth looking at her again. two turns. And the Dark Pirate might actually be even better, because he's a Fearless Taunter on all of his skills, which means he always keeps the shield up unless they, he gets nullified. Um, he is in my inventory, so I'll look at him. So I've got a number of people to work on, I think. I'm sure she's in my inventory. Um, Barb Taunts. I don't know if Barb Taunt works on the Void Boss. And the problem is, generally, it's only for one turn. There's a different boss that does take barb taunt damage, though. Hmm. Let me look at my... Alright, I've got a couple units I want to check out. So I'm going to look at my wood cura. Um... Just threw him back into. Yeah, so I'm going to look at the wood cura. And. Wood cura, dark crow hook. All right, 
So I'm just, this is experimentation still on these fights. Uh, wood cure. Sort by attack, we should be near the bottom. Unless I have some really crazy build on my wood Kira. I don't. Okay. Uh, weird. We're just going to narrow down. Defender. She is not a defender type. Okay. Recovery. Not a recovery type. Balanced. Alright, I'm not sure why I'm not seeing her. <laughs> Tank type. <laughs> uh, okay, that's why. She's a super duper tanky type. Alright, her defense isn't all that great. She's got mass hit points. Her resistance is 43%. It's not bad. Not great. Does any of these have a resist subset built in? is now. Alright, and she's to she's running for two turns on the barb taunt. So maybe I'll swap out that one of the light mandragoras for the barb taunt from the wood cura. Um, it will help me with SP build. We'll see how that plays out. Again this is still experimenting obviously like I showed it this team works as long as this left side gets focused out first. So I would want that to be on. Put on this first team. Six tank, Evo three wood. Crap, she's super evolved, so not even that. Do do ultimate. Only the one. Battle. Okay. All right, this will let me see if it's actually going to throw um, the barb top back at them. I uh, was not expecting that. I literally just murdered out the unit on the left side. Did I do the wrong? I bet I did the wrong one. I think I did number one instead of number five. I did not expect just to murder that thing on the left like that. Um, I'm going to waste the energy because it's not worth it for me to get that level of reward. So I'll burn the 25 energy and I'll go back over to it. Not sure how I accidentally picked the wrong one, but I did. I was like, that team should not have murdered that thing out like that. My void crystal inventory is full. Whoa. That's not what I wanted to hear. Especially since there's no overflow of it. Manage crystals. Grave. Uh, sort by only. Lows, clean up, auto selects, low. Okay, we're just going to divide out these. Melted all of those, and all I got was 84,000 gold. Groovy. Okay, I've got crystal space now, though.
Okay, let's come back over here. Try this again. that I'm reflecting the damage. Oh no, I am reflecting some damage. There is a yellow flash. Yellow flash means damage was reflected. I am actually reflecting damage off the taunt. It's not massive amounts of reflection, <coughs> but it is damage. Damage kill, though, is much slower in this manner. Okay, so he resisted, which means that he's trying to take this key away from him so he can get that off again. See, this guy does not have sap resistance. Makes the big difference there. Yeah, this actually goes faster with the Light Mandragora on this. Um, the Light Mandragora is landing its own saps, which then speeds this fight up a lot. So. I can land two saps over there, guys, and not worry about it anymore. So that's part of what this is. This game is all about experimentation.
Left side guys toast at this point. You have too many saps on him to survive, so I can let it run on auto for the rest of this fight. So, again, left side to start with. I actually honestly think the dark crow hook will work out just fine if I bring it because it will throw the taunt constantly. So I think I'll replace the cure with the dark crow hook and give that one a run on the next try. on her at the moment. You know, yeah, I'm gonna bring her. Target the left side, target the left side, there we go. Auto. Resisted my taunt attempts. Or the taunt attempts. Wow, I am <laughs> ninety percent chance fail and fail and fail some more. So, she's got a two-turn silence and a two-turn taunt. I'm just gonna let this run on auto for the rest of the fight. It should be able to handle them and the means under control and or lock them out, whichever is needed. Let's find out. Well, unless it makes lots of resistances, which it did, so it's not gonna keep them under control there. Letting it run auto because I just want to see how this does. I actually landed the shock, but it immunity got immediately got the immunity off because the left side did not stay under control. Oh, okay. But now I got silence on you and sapped you, so the left side should because of the debuff that I run. Oh, it's dead now because of, there we go, saps. All right, so 
It was able to fight its way through it. It was not pretty, but it did it. not actually switch you over to auto. I gotta take the left guy out here. So if you don't take the left guy out first, this fight basically is non-manageable. If you're going saps. Now I have had people in the clan say that they're running um, exposed weaknesses and then tearing stuff up. So I can see that working too. trying his best. He's slowly sapping it out. So I'm trying to connect my camera from here. Disconnect. You have the immunity. How do you get the immunity off? I fail to understand how that. I fail to understand what just happened here. I could have sworn I attacked it last. Oh, I must have been sealed. That's how it happened. When sealed, you are sealed. Uh, hit play again for the third phase. All right, so that overall it worked out all right. Um, I'm not 
sure why. The left side, the, the first team had trouble getting the taunts to land successfully to start with. Um, oh, actually, I'm done for the day. All right, well, that was my runs over here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. Um, if you have ideas for improvements, how to beat round six, let me know. Just taking a quick look, you can purchase things that will allow you to get bonuses. You know, maybe, maybe you need the every five turns the SP comes up. Um, or the 60% damage reduction for, uh, for one turn uh, every five turns. Every, oh, that's every four turns for cooldown. Okay, let's, maybe that's what's needed. Um, I don't know. I've not tried bouncing through these on this set. Um, I've done it on some of the others. Anyway, let me know what you guys are using for your runs. Bye, folks.